this. Trying to find the best angle. I'm quite out of practice. Hello, hi. I don't know how many people are going to watch this because one, I haven't posted on YouTube in a year and a half. And two, I didn't even have a big following when I did post. I'm going to take this time while I get ready to just catch up on life. I feel like a majority of people watching this are either coming from my TikTok or are new here, don't know who I am. I'm not gonna go into like my entire life story, but I just wanna give a little bit of background on like YouTube and my YouTube journey because that's where I am right now. That's where you're seeing me. So I have always had a love for YouTube and obviously growing up watching a bunch of YouTubers, I always like wanted to do YouTube. I think around fifth grade is when I had my earliest videos. I got a tablet. I would like film on it like I was doing YouTube videos, I would just never upload them. At some point in middle school, I think I uploaded a few videos, whatever. And then sometime around sophomore year, I really started doing YouTube. Like I was posting pretty consistently, but I was still very awkward talking out loud, like in front of the camera in my own room. I think at some point during like junior or senior year, I stopped posting, but then the pandemic started. And so then I started reposting again. And then I got my first ever job you know, just a regular schmegular part-time job. Doing that along with trying to still pursue my career, which is acting, modeling, I lost the drive to do YouTube. And very quickly into the job, I got promoted and just had to take on more hours and more responsibility. Life just kept getting crazier. Basically, last year, December, we all got covid my dad had a lung disease so he was more high risk and basically he just wasn't getting better and for three months me and my mom sat in the hospital every day uh while he was unconscious and then things just didn't get better so you know so after that tragic <laughs> very traumatizing period of time. I started posting on TikTok. I was posting a lot on TikTok before, but I really started to like try and understand what type of content did well, post more of that, post more often. And around that time, Harry Styles was coming out with his new album, As It Was was released, and then he went to Coachella. And those two events are big in my life because I recreated the As It Was outfit, I sewed it, and the Harry Cella outfit. I think I might have been the first person to recreate the Harry Cella outfit. So, so I started posting a lot of TikToks about those outfits and that's what started kind of like the, the hype on my TikTok. That's where I started getting like a good amount of followers from. I have very sparse eyebrows naturally and they're super light and so they aren't really existent. I would draw them on every single day. Last January, so a year ago, I started bleaching them because I thought it was like cool. It was like June at this point. I have bleached brows. I'm doing Harry Styles videos and someone comments on my videos, you look like Mia Goth. I didn't know who Mia Goth was. Like, by name. So then I started making Mia Goth related videos. And that also is where a lot of following came in. That's what got me to around 10,000, I think in like October. I just hit 50k on TikTok. Yay! I've tried really hard for like years and years and years and like three years on TikTok to try and make something of it. And it finally is like starting to happen and then people are like, it's going away. I'm like, please give me a little bit more time. I kind of left my job in like September, October. So I was there for like a year. It was just time for me to go. And then I just focused on social media stuff. But... I recently got another part-time job because obviously with my father gone, I have more responsibilities and Los Angeles ain't cheap. We all know it. It's so freaking expensive and we don't even want to live here. But LA is just like meh because it is pretty in spots, but like in freaking the valley, it's just kind of crusty and not like it's not city enough, but it's not country enough. It's just annoying to be paying so much money for a place you don't even want to live, but also you can't move for like various reasons. I don't know where I want to live. I know I have to live in a city right now because of my career. I've just been in such a I don't know what I'm doing, what's going on, what's next area for like two years since I graduated high school. And it's kind of stressful. Speed run makeup, let's go. 
my camera ran out of storage. My friend is literally about to pull up. <laughs> Vintage market. I would, I would have been happy to do a little trade. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to go. Home. Swiss traps have been acquired. It's quite warm for all this leather that I have on right now. What is this? Kim got the boots, everybody. <laughs> Yay! We're going to the food trucks. Zooming so well. <laughs> oh my god, there's a ball! so happy with my chaps purchase i'm so excited i'm gonna be doing a coachella outfit video soon i want to go to coachella or any music festival so bad but yeah that was a very fun and good vintage market while i was there i got the photos from a photo shoot i did you want to see a sneak peek Ta -da! we did these like the beginning of february but she takes them all on film and so she had to like get them developed and all that stuff these these photos these this was technically this was technically my first ever real photo shoot it was really fun and it was very much just like girlies supporting girlies having fun doing what they love Yay! Yeah. i am probably gonna end this video here because i'm just gonna be staying at home for the rest of the day but i just want to say that today was a good day it's always nice to get out of the house because I really don't get out of the house that much and I'm really excited to be back doing YouTube. I've wanted to come back for so long I just haven't been motivated or you know been dealing with other things and so I'm just very excited. If you're watching this and you're made it to the end, thank you. I love you and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm really excited. I have a few ideas for videos that I think are going to be really fun. So stay tuned for those. And I love you. Mwah.